That's pretty good. I think that helps. You wouldn't know. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the first episode of Homeschool, the podcast with two dumb comedians and one teacher. Isn't that three people? Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Corey Michaelis. And I'm Andrew Rivers. Neither of us were homeschooled, but I have no friends. And Corey waited until marriage to have sex. So pretty much the same. <laughs> We are coming to you from Washington State, where we are basically back in week one of quarantine. Uh, if you're in Florida, uh, why are you not quarantined? I swear, this makes no sense at all. Uh, Washington Governor Jay Inslee has banned all live entertainment uh, in the state until phase four, which is perfect. Uh, I'd like to get in an early jump on helping Andrew promote his next gig. Aww. Yeah, you're headlining the Tacoma Comedy Club September in 2022. Very exciting. <laughs> on the plus side, this is going to make me sound way more interesting on dates. Like, what do I do for work? Well, probably shouldn't talk about it here. It's <laughs> kind of illegal, you know. Oh, so mysterious. <laughs> I think she'll catch on when the bill comes and you can't pay. <laughs> nah, I'll just say some vague stuff. Like, I'm not allowed to carry cash. The feds are closing. The kitchen's too warm. The heat in the kitchen, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a kitchen table. Ah, how are our friends in Florida doing? Ah, I mean, they have more cases in Italy, which is a country twice the size of Florida with three times the population. So um, not good. A lot more density. Some states like New York have decided if you come from a high risk state like Florida, you have to quarantine automatically for 14 days, even if you don't have any symptoms. How do you feel about that? I mean, of course, I'm anti-immigration when it comes to Florida. <laughs> like, 14-day lockdowns, even when the virus is over. <laughs> when Florida sends people, they're not sending their best. They're sending the rapists and the killers. Build that wall. Build the wall. <laughs> Oh, Disney man. World is open in Orlando. That doesn't seem responsible. Mm. The incubation period for coronavirus is 14 days. That means you can show up to Disney World, and by the time you get to the front of the line, you'll be showing symptoms. <laughs> you got to check out their new ride, though. It's called the Florida ICU. Oh, exciting. Uh, it's a long wait time, but once you get in there, it is out of this world. Heavenly. Uh, super comfortable, <laughs> but you can't even catch your breath. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, Florida. It's almost hurricane season, so we're about to have corona infested shark natives i can't wait for that film it's gonna be a good um, one <laughs> i think we used that joke three months ago but i don't think anybody watched or listened to what we were doing <laughs> well they won't see this either so it's gonna be just fine <laughs> anyway uh what else is going on oh taxes were due on july 15th i had to copy off my neighbors <laughs> Bad idea. we got a three-month <laughs> extension and i still worked on it until 3 a.m the night before i'm becoming one of my students uh, by the way, what tax bracket is $0 adjusted gross income? Just want to know for next April. I don't know anything about taxes. <laughs> My tax guy said I was paying Uncle Tom instead of Uncle Sam. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what's gone. I'm expecting an audit. I got audited for 2017. I'm pretty sure they just looked at my income from comedy and were like, there's no way someone could live off of this. Yeah, they should have checked your OnlyFans account. <laughs> Speaking of government, did you hear about that egomaniac on drugs who's running for president? Ah, uh, yeah, Donald Trump. No, the other one, oh, actually. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump Jr.? It, well, in a couple years, probably. <laughs> but no, Kanye West announced a presidential right. run. Yep. He held an event where he said Harriet Tubman didn't free any slaves, and then he broke down crying. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're wrong, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kanye, if you need help, blink twice and wear yellow in your next video. I saw that Dave Chappelle flew on a private jet to go meet his friend Kanye. That is a great friend. Or just a great comic. Dave is like, I'm going to get so many jokes out of this. What would you say again? Did you say that again? Do that one again. That was great. Speaking of presidential idiots, Trump restarted his coronavirus briefings. Uh -oh. The second wave always comes sooner than you think, man. Fuck that guy and the horse he rode in on. You know what they say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him put his mask on. <laughs> he did put his mask on, actually. Oh, okay. Very patriotic. His fans always get mad at me on Facebook when I post those jokes. I wanted to say something positive. That's good. Yeah. Trump keeps tweeting about his uh, silent majority. These are the least silent people <laughs> I've ever met in my life. They immediately are Just loud, no matter what. <laughs> I wish Trump was a part of the silent majority. He won't stop bragging about taking a cognitive ability test. <laughs> Every interview, he spends 30 minutes talking about how hard the test is and how well he did on the test. 
Man. Yeah, Trump has bragged about passing a dementia test like eight times already. Did he forget that he's bragged about it? Probably has dementia. Yeah, I think that's the test. That is the test. You failed. <laughs> uh, there's a big debate about schools being safe to open or not. Uh, a bunch of news anchors who are broadcasting from their homes because it's not safe to be in the same room with each other have been saying it's perfectly fine to get 30 kids together back in a school. <laughs> yeah, so far it seems like their plan is to give kids a questionnaire about symptoms as they arrive because uh, they always tell the truth yeah, yeah. and they'll keep desks six feet away from each other. How are you supposed to shoot off the smart kids if your desk <laughs> is six feet away? Ah, cell phones, man. Kids have all oh. those tricks. Um, I always catch them, though, and they have terrible excuses like, my mom's texting me. Well, she's texting me, too, <laughs> and you don't see me replying. That would be unprofessional. Right. You can't use your phone during school hours. <laughs> okay. Well, that seems interesting. Actually, uh, I want you to think of some good cheating stories for later. We can talk about that on the podcast. Oh, I just call my ex-wife. No, I meant like uh, cheating at school. Oh, I'm not sure where they did it. Probably just like his house. <laughs> They want to reopen schools no matter what. <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. Schools are way worse than bars, you know? At least bars will kick someone out after they vomit and poop on the floor. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm actually pretty, I, you know, to be honest, I'm glad Betsy DeVos is insisting on schools open up on time this year. Why? Uh, I'm going to get so many substitute teaching jobs. Oh. Uh, some of them might even be permanent positions. Yeah, right? six yeah. feet under <laughs> permanently. <laughs> hey, social, social distancing. distancing. <laughs> if this goes on any longer, my brother's going to make me tutor his kids. Oh, God. And that's a bad idea. I'm a comedian. I mean, I do laugh at poop jokes and read at a third grade level, but your babysitter needs a babysitter. <laughs> when I taught, I taught history. So uh, I just want you guys to know I'm not responsible for any of these people's misunderstandings of COVID science, uh, just their inability to do research and their rampant racism. Yeah, <laughs> manifest that one's destiny. On me. <laughs> yeah. Well, like a lot of white people during this time, I've been listening and learning and looking for someone to blame <laughs> for anything and, uh, a lot of people are mad at teachers uh, yeah. oh how come you didn't teach me about the tulsa massacre uh it's like bitch i did teach you <laughs> november 17th 2019 third period you were vaping i'm pretty sure <laughs> i still have the lesson plan and the quiz uh it smells like cotton candy in here that's my favorite flavor uh by the way next time bring one for the whole class oh he lights up i don't feel comfortable it is funny that the people that were most proudly skipping school can't admit that they were just shitty learners. Right. Like it's That's okay. why you went to Wazoo in the first place. <laughs> I just Googled shittiest call up. Uh, baseball <laughs> started today, and the Mariners are out of the playoffs. But there's no fans in attendance, so I'm sure if the Astros try to bang on some trash cans, everyone's going to hear about it. Well, I've banged a few trash cans in my day. That's so. exciting. <laughs> Some stains are going to allow 10,000 fans in wow. at a time for now. It's crazy. Some are just putting cardboard cutouts of humans in the stands. That's a good idea. Trump should do that for his next rally. That's a you good know? idea. All the people in the hospital with COVID can then wear a VR headset <laughs> with their breathing tube. It's like Avatar. They're already keen to living in a fantasy. Keen is probably like too big of a word for them. <laughs> You know what what do you mean? It's four letters. Sign. Well, it's actually three total, but... Well... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Man, explain my joke to me. We're going to take a quick break. If you're watching on YouTube or listening on your podcast stream, join the Patreon for the full episode. We move away from the topical jokes and discuss other more personal things. Oh, yeah, like that topical ointment you've been using. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for the tip on that. Uh, the <laughs> recommendation. Good stuff. It's, really good it's stuff. Uh, <laughs> from your personal collection. Uh, among other things, I actually have a pop quiz for Corey. I found the test that Trump took, and uh, we're gonna give it to him live on <laughs> what? camera Seriously? and uh, what is see this how well you do. You gotta like name a elephant and. Um, oh. I don't know what visuospatial <laughs> means. That's a very big word. This, oh, I actually, I think I have a new name for the podcast. Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out after these messages. Is there a link to the Patreon yet set up? Or? Oh, we don't have that. No, okay. no, no. Patreon.com slash uh, homeschool. <laughs> slash gotta Andrew, be right. Andrew J. Rivers, probably. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be slash homeschooled. Uh, 
Or, oh or, shit! You know, we're not good at this. Yeah. Let's just let's uh, let's do our. Uh, we do have an ad. Um, Trojan condoms. No. Uh, we have Trojan condoms <laughs> is sponsoring the podcast. Um, <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> but if you know say, anybody, that wants they to. are the reason that Corey can afford this equipment <laughs> because <laughs> uh, <laughs> saved him from some uh, some close calls. Yeah, I'm super glad I didn't get a call this Father's Day.